Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Ashfaq and in today's video we will create the CI CD pipeline for the web app on the Azure DevOps. Let's get started. First of all, go to dev.azure.com Click on the start free Once you provide your Microsoft credentials it will ask you to provide the organization name and once you have created the organization name it will bring you to this page and once your organization has been created to activate the free trial you will have to request free trial on this URL It may take the two to three days to complete your free trial subscription request. If you do not want to wait for two, two to three days, you can set up your uh, pay as you go subscription. Go to organization setting. Billing, Setup Billing, New Subscription, Provide your all the details and you will have your running pay as you go subscription. And note one thing here, after creating the your pay as you go subscription, if it is not showing in the subscription list, then go to your account and click here on the switch directory. Once your pay as you go subscription is ready, you can change the uh, MS hosted CICD parallel jobs to one here otherwise your pipeline execution will fail I will create my project I will uh, select private and I will click on create project. To create the uh, service connection, go to Azure portal and go to Azure Active Directory. Go to App Registrations, New Registration, and I will give the name and I will. Uh, 
select this option account in this organizational directory only and redirect URI I will select web I will click on register okay so uh, on this connection I will go to certificates and secrets I will click on new client secret I will give the description add ok service principle has been created now we have to provide the rights to this service principle on our subscription for that I will go to first home I will go to subscription I will select my subscription I will go to access control IAM I will click here on add add role assignment and here privileged administrator roles I will select the contributor and I will click on next so I will uh, keep the tick on user group or service principal I will click on select members and I will search here our service principal name which is the towards Azure DevOps select next review and assign ok so uh, role has been assigned to service principal I will now go to uh, Azure DevOps project setting I will go to service connections and I will click on create service connection Azure Resource Manager Next Service Principal Manual Next uh, I have to give here the subscription ID I will go to Azure Portal Subscription I will copy the subscription ID and paste it here subscription name I will copy from here and paste it here service principal ID I will go to portal I will go to 
app service registration which we have created i will select our uh, principal service principal and i will copy the application id and i will paste it here service principal key on the azure portal i will go to certificates and i will click on new client secret add i will copy the value and i will provide it here tenant id I will copy from here and paste it on the Azure DevOps. I will click on verify. So verify verification succeeded. I will give the name. towards azure portal i will take here grant access permission to all pipelines and i will click on verify and save okay so service connection has been created successfully next task is to create the azure web app i will go to azure portal and i will go to app service create web app this is my subscription i will create new resource group i will give the web app name web calculator have an app publish code runtime stack i will select dotnet 6 lts region i will select my region and pricing plan i will select standard next next enable public access on next 
so enable application inside i will select no to save the charges in production you will have to uh, select on yes next next create web app created i will go to resource so this is my dns name i will copy this name and i will open it in new tab so my web app has been created successfully next step is to create the azure pipeline i will go to azure devops project pipelines create pipeline github and actually i have already logged in to uh, github so it is directly giving me the list of repositories otherwise it will ask you to provide the github credentials here and this is the actually project which we will deploy uh, on the ci cd pipeline today and this is actually the uh, web app web calculator app which runs on the dotnet core so uh, from the list i will select my application and i will select this asp.net and i will click on save i will go to my pipeline i will go to edit and uh, this is the uh, azure pipeline yaml file i will delete this content and uh, just go to this uh, microsoft documentation page for the uh, web deployment and copy this content of the sample yaml file and i will paste it here so in this uh, here i have to provide the subscription so i will provide my connection detail service connection detail which is towards azure portal and here we have to give the uh, app name so i will go to azure portal and this is our web app on the azure i will copy the name and i will paste the name here and i will click on save
if you go to uh, your github repository and do the refresh here so you will see azure pipelines dot yaml file has been created here i will go to my pipeline and i will click on run So this is the main branch. I will click on run. Okay, so run completed. If I go to job, so these were the steps uh, during the run. If I go to the step Azure web app, so this is our app service URL. I will copy this URL and I will browse it in the new tab. So you can see here our application is running. We have to now configure the trigger for our Azure pipeline. So uh, on the Azure DevOps page, I will go to my pipeline. I will go to edit. I will tick here on more actions. I will click on triggers. And I will take this option or at the YAML collection integration trigger from here. And I will select this option enable continuous integration. Type I will select include branch main which is the our branch on the repository main branch and i will click on save save Okay, so the uh, CI CD has been configured for our pipeline. And now, if we do any change on the repository on the GitHub, so our build and uh, deploy should trigger through the CI CD pipeline. Okay, we have to now verify that our CI CD pipeline is getting triggered or not upon the changes in the 
github repository so note one thing here that the background color in my app is green so i will go to github repository i will go to calculator folder i will go to views home I will open this file I will go to edit and I will change this color to aqua I will click on commit changes I will give the commit message change color to aqua and I will click on commit changes I will go to my pipeline runs so you can see here our CI CD pipeline has been triggered I haven't click on the run on this page Okay, so build and run completed. If I go to my application and do the refresh here so you can see here my color has been changed to aqua by this way you can create the Azure pipeline and you can configure the CI CD uh, with the trigger hope you find this video helpful a lot of effort went behind this video so do subscribe to my channel to encourage my work like the video share it with the friends and spread the knowledge i look forward you to join me in the next video thank you